And our big story right now at five, something pretty amazing. You're looking at what scientists are calling a prehistoric sturgeon, and it was caught right off the coast of Dolphin Island. Scientists from the Dolphin Island Sea Lab caught the fish, documented it, and then released it. Local 15's Madupe Dobu talked to those scientists today about this rare find. From red snapper to lionfish, the Gulf Coast is obviously no stranger to the creatures of the sea. When we pulled it up, we had no idea what it was. We just knew it was something big. But just two days ago, just south of Dolphin Island, it was a rare find, a prehistoric fish, the sturgeon. In 11 years, I've never seen a sturgeon. Dolphin Island Sea Labs educator Greg Graber was out with students from Bayside Academy when they scooped the six foot eight beauty. It's a big fish and people always ask that question when they're out on the boat with us, you know, what's the biggest thing you've ever caught? Well, that's the biggest one now. Sturgeons along the Gulf Coast feed off crustaceans and can weigh up to 200 pounds. And while they look more like sharks, they're actually pretty friendly. They are definitely not dangerous. Scientists say the fish is a survivor from the dinosaur age. Sturgeons are well known for being one of the main sources for an expensive delicacy, caviar. As a result, it's listed as threatened because of overfishing. We got a measurement as quickly as we could. And then we, uh, the captain got the GPS coordinates and we let it go. The official Alabama sturgeon is one of the rarest things in Alabama, period. In Dolphin Island, Madupe Edo, Local 15 News.